Hey guys, I have done a few new additions to Absolutno 0.9, that's the newest version. You can also get 0.9.1, that also includes some bug fixing. So at the time of the recording, that's the latest version. Make sure you remove the old version from your chart and bring a new version so you can see all these new features. If you are familiar with Absolutno, you might remember that the take profit and stop loss were all part of DCA settings, but now it has been extracted to a new group called TP and SL. This group of settings here are going to take care of everything to do with take profit and stop loss. Up until last week, the only options that we had for take profits were based on percentages and the same for stop loss, and they were part of the CA settings. Now everything is moved into this area right here. Of course, you had before as well the take profit external signals, which allow you to use signals to also exit your position. That's still there. But the biggest changes are all around this area here. It's all related to better management of risk. Let's start with the basic setup. So for example, you can have 2% of take profit and 1% of stop loss. You could also say, I want two times the ATR for the take profit and one time the ATR for the stop loss, achieving a ratio of two to one. Most typically people will do something like three and two here, achieving an 1 to 1.5 ATR. Another cool thing that you can do now that is absolutely new is that you can use this external TP price or external stop loss price. In this case, I have it connected with an EMA. And if I put the stop loss in external, make sure that this ratio is set to one. It's going to track the EMA and it's going to place the stop loss statically at the price that the EMA was at the moment you were entering the deal. There's something that needs to be done, although if the EMA is above the price and you're taking longs, then the stop loss wouldn't be valid. So for solving that, what I'm doing is you're going to notice here I have two EMAs. Both are set to 300 length, so they both do precisely the same in terms of the graphics, but one of them is used in my source for the stop loss, the one at the top here, and the second one I'm using it to make sure that the closing price is above the EMA. So in conditions I'm saying I want the close to be greater than the second EMA. And why am I doing this with two EMAs? Because I realize that when you connect one EMA to conditions and then conditions is connected to absolute no, and at the same time the same EMA instance is also connected directly to absolute no, therefore the same indicator is connected twice as a source of the same backtester absolute no, then that gives an error on PineScript. So you have to have twice the AMA, one to define where to place the stop loss and the second one to input it into conditions so conditions can filter out the times when that is below the price and therefore is valid as a stop loss. All these new additions to TP and SL can still be used in combination with the DCA orders. Let's put some DCA orders here. I'm going to add two and I'm going to use a stop loss defined with ATR. I don't need anymore in this here, neither this one, and I'm gonna do dynamic safety orders based on the average daily range percentage of the price. One time that. Let's hide the EMAs and if you notice now the stop loss has been placed higher than the first safety order location. So that is wrong. Let's try with something way larger in terms of stop loss just for playing with this. So now the stop loss is located around here and the first safety order range starts from around there. So that makes a lot more sense because that gives some room for the safety orders to get filled. You can also use an indicator like the swing high and swing low. You can find it by searching this one swing high, low support and resistance. And if you want swing highs and lows that are of better quality, you can increase this number. Normally it comes with just five and that is also valid depending your setup. But there's again the same problem if you use this as a stop loss location, you need to make sure that the price is currently above the swing low level. Otherwise it can happen that you're entering here and your stop loss placement is above the price and you're taking a long. Obviously that's gonna cause the position to close immediately. So you're gonna need again conditions to double check that the swing low level, this blue line, is below the price at the time you're entering. So it's a valid placement 
for the stop loss. And that might require that you have two instances of swing, one for defining the location of that swing low and another one for letting conditions confirm that the price is above that swing low at the time you're entering the deal. And if it's not, it should cancel out the deal and not enter. If you have any questions about the new version of Absolutno or you want to report any potential bug or fixes, make sure you're on Discord server and that you contact me there. You can mention me. I will really appreciate if you find a defect or bug that you let us know. Thank you so much for watching.